Good afternoon, Aries, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. What I'd like to do is to go on and give you your monthly uh, tea leaf reading here. I've already shuffled the cards as we see here illustrated, okay? I'm going to be covering a variety of areas here today. Um, not just limited to romance, but basically whatever that comes out or comes through this reading, as this is a general reading, and Keep in mind that it's not going to resonate for all Aries out there. I'd also like to welcome many new viewers here. I certainly appreciate um, your coming to my channel. Welcome. And for those of you who have yet to subscribe, please take a few moments to do so now. And if this reading resonates with you guys as we go through it, please be sure to like and share. And send me over your comments, okay? So what I like to do is to go on and just start off and just discuss the more negative energies here that I'm seeing in your reading and then, you know, in your reading with the more positive vibrations here. And I see here, ladies and gentlemen, that you got quite a bit going on this month here, okay? So let's start off here with the more negative cards here, okay? We have the finger here, and that's not necessarily negative, but the finger seems to be pointing towards a problem that exists now in your life or it will exist in the near future, okay? And I'm feeling that there may be someone around you that's giving you criticism about your situation and you may not be listening, okay? And it could be either a man, a dark woman, a younger man, or in fact, a younger woman. And perhaps you might want to Consider what they're saying here because I'm getting here and you're reading with this rat here that, you know, someone is working against you or working behind your back. And this could manifest itself, you know, in your business or at work or even in your romantic life here. And that someone could potentially be this man, this dark woman, this younger man, or again, this younger woman that's doing that because it seems that. Forces are working kind of against you here to further emphasize the fact that someone is working against you have that acts there. And I'm feeling too that with the forest um, symbol here, yet your thinking is very muddled. You can't really see the forest tr from the trees here. And many of you really don't know what to do, it seems, in your situation I'm getting. And I'm feeling that because you're, you're just feeling so overwhelmed here, I, I'm, I'm just getting that with this lightning energy there, you might want to control your anger or you're going to be, you're going to be sad, I'm feeling, because it's going to cause problems that you wouldn't want to deal with, I'm kind of getting. So try to control your anger here, okay? I'm also feeling too that it looks like that someone is leaving your life, I'm kind of getting here, with this chair empty here. And it could be this younger woman. This man, dark woman, or this younger man, one of those might be connected here, okay? I'm also getting a sense, too, that something that you you have been kind of counting on working um, towards your advantage this month is not going to go successfully, I'm going to feel, because you have that knot there, so that shows unsuccessful plans here, okay? I'm also feeling, too, that some of you have been really slacking off at work here, or just slacking off in your business situation and just have been maybe perhaps procrastinating, you know, putting your focus on things that it shouldn't be on, okay? Because you have this desk here and this card is urging you to really pay attention to your work here or there will be consequences if you don't here, all right? Yet, despite the challenges that I'm seeing that you're going through, you know, particularly relating to these um, teacup reading here, the tent says that your situation is only temporary, you know? So that should give you some relief, ladies and gentlemen. And it shows that whatever problems that you have been facing with this bridge um, symbol that it shows you successfully overcoming your problem, and it shows with this well that you you've been kind of going through a great worry over nothing here, okay? And after having gone through this process here, I feel that you're going to feel this valley here, deep personal strength and peace, I feel is going to be restored. 
And to further emphasize the fact that peace will in fact be restored here, you have the wind chime, which denotes peace and harmony. Okay. I'm also seeing opportunities that seem to be coming up towards you guys with this door here. And all you just have to do is an open it up there. Okay. New opportunities I'm feeling with the archway here and possibilities in all areas of your life here because you have that archway. Okay. And I'm feeling that you're going to be, you're going to feel very um, stable. I'm getting here and you're going to feel that you, your material needs are being met this month here with this bowl energy there because that represents plenty of material things here. But because of all of the things and challenges that you guys have, have are or will go through this month, you know, I'm getting a strong indication here with this great energy there is that it's really time for you guys to really get out of the house and have fun here because you've been worrying a lot, I'm getting, okay? And I'm seeing that some of you are, in fact, with this hammock, you're going to be taking a vacation. It could be either a physical vacation or it could be more of a mental type one, but I'm feeling this is more of a physical vaca uh, vacation that I'm seeing you guys taking, and it looks like you're going to be going to perhaps uh, an exciting event. I'm seeing some type of, you know, uh, celebration or just partying, and just, you know, you just having fun with a close friend here or either a lover here with that dog or close up friend. And it could, it could even be ladies and gentlemen, because you have pictures here it could be with a man here, a dark woman, a younger man, or in fact, this younger woman there. Okay. I'm also getting a strong indication that either a, a marriage would take place and that could be either romantically, or it could be business or you know, you might move on to a strengthened type relationship here, despite this fact that it looks like someone might be leaving here, uh, your life in some way. But I'm saying, though, certainly happiness and well-being are going to, in fact, be restored here by the end of this month here with the, you having the sun card there. OK, so I wanted to just add a few other romance angel cards to this just to give you a bit more advice. Um, ladies and gentlemen, to your situation here. I'm kind of getting that, you know, the situation that you're finding with, you know, that you're in romantically, it seems that it's more unrequited I'm getting here. And there seems to not be enough chemistry or attraction I'm getting to kind of keep this relationship going as you would want it to be. And that's perhaps why someone might be leaving, Okay. However, I do feel that it seems that because you have all of these people when you're reading here, this card, Reconciliation, is suggesting that one of those people want to reconcile from your past. They're returning here and they kind of want you back here. But again, keep in mind that they are your ex for a reason and the love that you share with them are unrequited, I'm kind of getting. And it seems that it's with, um, you know, multiple people that I'm kind of getting, all right? I'm also f getting the sense that, you know, if you guys do want to, you know, kind of talk to this ex or talk to someone that, you know, you've been having a relationship with, but the relationship has gone sour in some way, you might want to try to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with them. And honestly, ladies and gentlemen, really try to discuss your feelings you know, with one another here, okay? And and in doing so, you might want to try to let go of control issues that might have sabotaged you in the past and just try to allow, you know, the situation to unfold naturally because I'm also getting to that some of you might have recently met someone new here, okay? And... You know, they've stirred your romantic interest here, but I feel that you better kind of pay attention to the red flags because perhaps the signs have been cautioning you, you know, about this person. Or it could be about someone that's trying to return or just someone that you're kind of dealing with at this time here. Okay? I'm also getting a strong indication that perhaps for many of you, children may be a factor, Okay? And your love life is, in fact, being affected by children. Perhaps, you know, you might have kids and 
you know, your, your, your lover doesn't, or both of you might have kids, or you might not even have kids at all, and you want to kind of settle down and start a family, but, you know, one of you are not on the same page, I'm kind of, is not on the same page with one another. That's why it's very important that you have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation here, okay? And understand that, you know, your relationship is particularly this new newer person that you met. You've known each other before here. And you also have a karmic connection with this ex or this person from the past, you know, that's trying to come back or who's trying to come back into your life here, okay? But it's really time for you to kind of make a wise decision and really free yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to kind of take back control of your life here. And you're going to understand that after you do that here with this attraction card, you certainly attract romantic love by really enjoying the moment fully here. Okay? So let's examine a few things that you might want to consider surrendering this month to just make the most out of this month, okay? Surrender to the wisdom of your body. Try to listen to your body's messages about a person or even, in fact, a situation. Because if you feel physically drained, ladies and gentlemen, or in fact uncomfortable, be cautious. You know, just as I've already indicated to you, to pay attention to the red flags here, you know? And if you are energized and happy, then move forward, okay? Surrender the now, ladies and gentlemen. Try to accept people and situations exactly as they are. Stop making excuses for people. Stop wearing rosebud glasses, okay? And once you do that, you'll certainly be able to see things clearly and really make the best decision about what you will want to do, okay? Surrender as well, stubbornness, okay? Understand that if, you, if you're tensing up or really taking a rigid stance about something, ladies and gentlemen, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. Because this certainly will help you communicate more lovingly with others and also with yourself. Try to surrender stress this month, Aries. Try to take a few deep breaths and exhale the tensions that you built up in your body. And let the stress go as you come back to your center. Okay? Aries, surrender your fear of change. Okay, understand that the universe is really reminding you that you are, in fact, cared for always. Whether you're afraid of a change in your job or your health, or it looks like for many of you in your relationship, or for some of you, if you even fear aging or death, try to repeat this affirmation. I have faith that all is well. Okay. Surrender, ladies and gentlemen, to intuition, okay? Try to tune into your inner voice and be aware of any gut feelings or flashes of knowings or even aha moments that kind of come through to guide you because your spiritual awareness will, in fact, strengthen here, you know, as I indicated to you guys with the valley there. Surrender, ladies and gentlemen, to miracles, okay? Try to be open to miracles occurring in your life and feel and know that these events are indeed real. Try to let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen. Surrender, ladies and gentlemen, to creativity. Let your imagination soar this month and Try to stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or even to, in fact, solve a problem. So in conclusion today, ladies and gentlemen, try to let go of inhibitions. And as I've already indicated, be creative and allow your imagination to run wild. Because your love life will certainly transform in ways that you never thought possible. And understand that it's only normal to 
you know, miss someone I feel who is dear to you. But remember, love actually knows no separation, okay? Understand that you may be physically apart from someone. You are certainly spiritually connected. And those you love are forever present in your heart. And understand that you are certainly who you are because of your history. And all of this, ladies and gentlemen, has certainly helped you grow in love as well as in wisdom. Understand that every experience has blessed you in some way. Embrace the past and forgive anything that needs forgiving. And try to look at things more from a feeling level, I'm kind of feeling for many of you. You know, what is in fact your heart saying? Because really, if you look at life purely through logic, you will always get to a point where it seems to kind of make no sense, right? Understand that true wisdom and understanding certainly reside in the heart. So Aries, this is what I have for you. I certainly hope that this reading has offered invaluable help for you guys, okay, or giving you advice, please be, be sure to like and share, and if you like a more personal reading, you can contact me at will.brown at watconsultinginc.net, and I look forward to hearing your comments. Enjoy your day. Thanks a lot.